welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to make this card. So I'm going to be taking my standard 6x4 inch card base, the Sweet Smiles stamp and die set from Lom Fom. So basically this is for the color challenge. Um, I will link it in my description for you guys so you can go and check it out. Um, and the colors are red and blue. So, you know, I've made one card. Um, the video would have gone up already. Um... I wasn't entirely 100% happy with how that card turned out, so, you know, I decided that I wanted to make another card for the theme and, you know, hopefully it turned out better, and it did. So, this card is actually inspired by a, an image I found on Pinterest, so I will also link that in my description for you. I also apologize if I sound either really tired or I'm speaking way too fast, it's literally just, I, I'm over tired now, I'm... At the point where I just want to sleep and possibly not wake up. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Um, so I do apologize if that's the case. I just I feel like I have to rush everything at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm going to insert some music and I'll speed this process up. And once I finish colouring in, I will talk to you guys then. see that I'm just going in with all these little emoji faces in this set so I'm just going in with my memento ink and I'm just stamping them in and I think they're so adorable um I was contemplating on whether or not I wanted to do just a few faces but I ended up doing every single one of them with a face and then as you can see I just die cut those out so for the background I went with some splattering effects and I use Sky Blue and Poppy Brilliance Pearlescence. Um, so as you can see, I'm just going to pop them onto an acrylic block, add some water, and then splatter it onto my card. And yeah, sometimes I'm stuck for backgrounds because I don't want it to take away from the main focal image. Or, you know, I don't want it to be too busy. So sometimes just doing a splatter effect is something that cures my mind, I guess. Because I am not a big fan of having a small image in the center of my card and a lot of white white space. I can't deal with it. I don't know what it is. Um, so I need to definitely like learn how to deal with having white spaces on my card. But yeah, so that's all I did for this video, guys. As you'll see, I just add glossy accents to the gumball machine just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And yeah, that's pretty much all I did. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. It'll alert you anytime I upload a new video. And if you think you may be interested in doing one of these color challenges, then definitely head over to the Instagram link in my description. It is called Color Hues Challenge. And if you want to just know more about it, then you can go onto their blog on their Instagram and it'll give you more information about it. So... Until my next video, guys, stay safe and happy crafting. Bye, guys.